Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God. Five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret, 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 20. Paul is concluding his letter to the Corinthians and he is sending his greetings under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. All the brethren greet you. Greet ye one another with a holy kiss. A kiss was a normal greeting back in those days. Thankfully, I live in 21st century America where guys shake hands. I appreciate that. 21, the salutation of me, Paul, with mine own hand. Paul actually dictated this book, but he signed it himself to show that it had apostolic authority. The Corinthians needed to be reminded that this was not just a man writing this book, but it was the Lord Jesus Christ working through the Apostle Paul, just like the rest of the Bible, all, every single word inspired by God. So to prove, again, that he had apostolic authority and this letter was inspired, he signed it. 22. If any man not, love not the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be anathema, maranatha. In other words, all those who do not love the Lord Jesus Christ, let them suffer God's eternal punishment in hell. And that's what anathema, maranatha, that refers to being thrown into hell. Love for God and love for Jesus Christ is displayed by obedience. Remember, Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Don't say you love God and then just totally disregard his word and his commandments and live any way you want. You don't love God, and if you don't love God, you're not saved. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Since God is holy and just, then obedience must, disobedience, I should say, must be punished if somebody does not receive forgiveness through Jesus Christ. And the sign of this forgiveness through Christ and the sign that forgiveness and that relationship with Jesus Christ has been given to the person is a love for Jesus and a desire to please him. If Christ is not precious to you, you're not saved. It's better that somebody tells you that right now while you have chan a chance to repent. 23, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. In other words, Paul prays that God would give us good things even though we don't deserve it because that's what God's grace is. 24, my love be with you all in Christ Jesus, amen. Paul said some hard things in this book. He did a lot of convicting, a lot of correcting which is what the Word of God will do if we're not right with God. And they certainly were not when it came to their behavior. But Paul did it because he loved them and because Jesus loved them. And God gave us this book because he loves us too. And even though a lot of things that have been said by me that the Word of God has taught in this book may not have set well with you, especially charismatics and Pentecostals and modern evangelicals, I didn't tell you these things because I hate you. I told you these things because I want to do what is in your best interest and because God wants that. Preachers who lie to you, who do not proclaim the whole truth, they don't love you. They just want to be your friend. They just want to be popular. It's more important to be faithful to God than to be popular. Until next time, Michael Moret for Coffee Break. So long.